In May of 1916, a new line called the Atlantic Transatlantic Line was in need of a new ship after their previous ship had sunk. The company had gone back to the drawing board to plan their next liner. Eventually, in 1917, they would come up with a new liner called the Solarity. Over the next two years, the Atlantic Transatlantic Line would construct the three-photo liner Solarity. In September of 1919, the SS Solarity would be launched at Liverpool. At the time of the launch, the Solarity would have over 20,000 onlookers. The launch would take around two hours to fully set up and complete. After the launch in September of 1919, the SS Solarity would be towed to a fitting out yard. Over the next few months, the Solarity would be fitting out with all the stuff that she needed to become seaworthy. On the 16th of July, 1920, SS Solarity would depart for her maiden voyage at 7 a.m. from Liverpool. Passengers aboard would say their goodbyes as the Solarity would sound her whistle. A few seconds later, the Solarity would depart from Liverpool for the first and the last time. For the overall start of the voyage, it was uneventful and calm for the majority of the time. Passengers were laying their eyes onto the moving sea as the classical saltwater smell entered the decks of the Solarity. As the sun was slowly falling down into the horizon, the boiler room had gotten 10 degrees hotter. Stokers became worried, confused, and scared. The vibrations got worse and worse per minute, making a noticeable shake from the stern. People could feel the vibrations from the middle of the ship, showing how much worse the situation had gotten. As the boiler room got hotter and hotter, the boiler room exploded. Water rushed in through the boiler room, ruining the flames from the boilers, burning the stokers' faces. The stokers ran out, attempting to make it to higher decks, but to no avail. The watertight doors had shut. The water rushed in faster and faster until the stern was eventually engulfed by the Atlantic. Water trickled up onto decks, washing people off the decks. Water eventually reached the center of the ship, raising the bow to the night sky. <laughs> 